country really needs a much larger workforce than we have right now in cybersecurity. The guys at the top know what they want, can't find the people. I was at the, uh, the, the CCDC in California and Boeing was there and they hired all seven of the winning team. So that's the story. Welcome, welcome. I'm Casey O'Brien. I'm the CyberWatch Mid-Atlantic uh, Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition Coordinator. I'm going to just talk about what, what, what's going on. You're inheriting systems such that they are and defending them. Each of the eight, eight collegiate teams for the CCDC are participating in what we call blue teams. While they're trying to maintain that network, we're also going to have a red team. Professional hackers who are going to be attacking all of these kids at the same time. The teams will all start off at a clean slate. Points will be added to their overall score as penalties occur. The team with the lowest amount of points at the end of a particular round will be in the lead. We have upwards of 64 students representing undergraduate and graduate students from two and four year schools. So Haven Electric Co-op brought in consultants. As the blue teams, you are those IT consultants. If I could imagine what the red team is doing right now, they're probably laughing a little bit because they've compromised so many systems. They've probably hidden a lot of their programs on there, and they're probably working on taking down some of the services. Wait, wait, we're only like five minutes in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we were kind of thinking that they would attack very quickly, but I guess we didn't think they would attack that quickly. Well, it's, it's been a little stressful. We're changing the passwords quite often and kill a lot of connections. Services are going to go down, injects are going to have to get done, and hopefully we can file some incident reports, get some points back. We could possibly have been penetrated. Good morning, everyone! Welcome to day two of the Mid-Atlantic CCDC competition. Looks like all of you made it back. Is anybody missing? Is anybody missing? Do we lose anyone? Did anyone break down and cry? curl up in the fetal position and just want to go home. This morning, several of the blue teams came in and found that their, their network didn't work quite right, or really at all. We come out of the gate this morning and noticed that there were some things that were awry. I need a status on where we are. They uh, took our uh, USB drive and did some business with that. The trick is to break the system just enough to get them to spin their wheels. On the network cables, they cut tape and hit it so it actually looked like we had connectivity, but we didn't. We're um, trying to secure our systems and had a couple of hiccups this morning, but we're working on them and seem to be ironing them out. It's hard to really kind of feel the impact physically of an actual cyber attack. These students need to kind of learn how to function in a high-stress environment, because when they get out to the outside world, things don't work always as planned. Everyone's tired, they're frustrated. This is where everything starts to separate. You start seeing the, the student teams getting better at their executing their game plan, getting better at hardening their systems, and generally being able to kind of hunk, hunk, hunker down and ride out the constant barrage of attacks against their system. We've actually seen first place decided in the last couple hours of the game. We've uh, definitely had some problems. We've been doing all right, but uh, it's been tough to keep up with Red Cell. They've really been coming at us recently, and it's uh, been tough. This is a really hostile situation, hostile network. Really, I'm just hoping that we can do better at responding to their attacks today than we did yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We are now ending the competition. It is eight o'clock. The 2011 <laughs> CyberWatch Mid-Atlantic CCDC is officially over. <laughs> <laughs> the winners for the uh, 2011 Mid-Atlantic uh, Regional uh, Competition is University of Maryland College Park.
If you're into information security, you guys are in the heart of it, in the nation, right here. People ask me, how'd you get where you got on today? The Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition. This is all about why this kind of competition matters. Because it's you we need, not the people who can talk about security, not the people who can write about security. We need, we need a few of those. We need a lot of people who can do it. And that's why these competitions are so exciting, because they're, they're a chance to actually find the people who like that and want to do it.